guys, it's Caroline Raven. Welcome back. So today I'm going to show you something that I have not been talking about for the last two years. Some of you guys have been asking me what is on my teeth. I've been getting everything from peppercorns to do you have diamonds on your teeth. For the last almost two years I've been wearing braces and it's called Invisalign because you can't really tell that they're there. The entire time that I was growing up, every time I was smiling or laughing, I always covered my teeth with my hand and I was so embarrassed about my teeth. So I decided to actually change my teeth about two years ago. You can't see that they, I have them. Uh, I currently have them actually out because they're laying on the table because today is the last day of my braces. And it grows to have my face like this. So you see here, there are some plugs on there. Yeah, you can see this very clearly. So here and here, these are very yellow. Uh, don't really know why, but they have been like that forever. And there's one here. This tooth right here is the big change. So what you're looking at right now is actually my teeth moving. Ridiculous, and it's been so painful. So how these hooks work is that they are connected to like braces like this. And I kind of feel like a boxer every time I put them in. I just take these and uh, ah, and you just put them in like this. So you can't really see that they're there. I have a small lisp as I have them in, uh, and I have it on the bottom as well. So like that. So today is the very last day. So I thought, why not bring you guys along to my dentist? So let's do this. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Okay, they're still in because apparently I need to wear the braces for slightly longer. Uh, but they took away all the attachment. I'm like focusing so much on my feet right now. Uh, so it's I'm so excited. And the results are amazing, amazing. It was very expensive, but definitely worth it. Just came home from the dentist. I am so hungry. As some of you guys know, I'm on the keto diet, and I do get a lot of questions about this. So I decided to share my absolute favorite recipe for a pizza. You're welcome. First, we're gonna make the crust, and so we have to put the oven to uh, 200 degrees Celsius. Oh my God, this is so dirty, I've not been home for a while. Uh, so 200 degrees Celsius, and you're gonna need some shredded cheese, preferably mozzarella. I didn't have any at home, I just used the Tex-Mex one. I do like that one. Oh, this is funny. Tack och lov för fanny. That's a Swedish joke. That's gonna be so popular in Gothenburg. You need a fork, uh, something to mix in, and some eggs. I'm gonna do one portion, so if you're gonna do more, just, you know, uh, double up or whatever. Uh, so you're gonna use two eggs and 75 grams of shredded cheese. spread this out so what I try to do because this is gonna because of the eggs it's gonna be like puffing up a bit and I like thin pizzas so I'm gonna try to like get this very <laughs> no I got it on me I'm gonna try to get this like very thin okay, it's not super even that is fine spread this out a little bit Perfecto. I've been on the keto diet for, well, on and off for a year now, and I absolutely love it. Well, basically what I'm doing is that I'm cutting out like so much carbs as I can. Try to stay under 20 grams of carbs every day, which is like nothing. You're adding loads of salads, of course, and you're also adding loads of fats. So approximately 75% of my daily intake in food and calories is actually from fat. Avocados and olives. Well, I do use like butters and stuff as well. So you want to... Like put this in the middle of the oven. Ooh, I almost fell. Approximately 13 to 15 minutes, but you wanna keep an eye on it because you don't want it to burn at all because this is gonna be in here twice. Hey Siri, set a 13 minute timer please. So as it's cooking in there, take out whatever you want to have for the topping for your pizza. I'm gonna use some pepperoni. I'm gonna use, oh, 
There's a mushroom. We're gonna use that one. We're gonna use some feta cheese. And yes, I do think we're finished in here. Some tomato sauce that I made myself. When I do this, I normally buy like a package of 150 grams of cheese. So we use 75 grams for the crust and then 75 for the topping. So as you can see here, it's actually bubbling up a lot. So I should have uh, I should have actually flattened it even more as I was putting it out. Now it has been in for approximately 13 minutes. As you can see, it's nearly done. Um, I'm gonna take this out so you guys can actually see what's going on. Um, you kind of want to have it like golden brown, so I'm probably gonna leave it in for about another minute. Oh, wait, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. So it's out and it's absolutely perfect. So what do you want to do now? You want to you want to raise the temperature to 225. And now we're going to let this rest for approximately two minutes and take a couple of tablespoons of this. Done. Then we're going to take the rest of the cheese. I always start at the edges. So like this. I think most people would probably start in the middle because that's like where the goodies is. I like starting at the edges because I don't want the edges to like not be as fun to eat. I'm gonna take the mushrooms and I'm gonna spread them out. I know that some people love like pineapples on their pizza and I've tried it but turns out I'm allergic <laughs> so I don't do that anymore. So I'm gonna take the pepperoni and put them on here. I'm feeling a little adventurous, so I'm gonna put on some pistachio nuts because I like that. A little perfetto. And we're gonna use some oregano. Put this on here. Some people put it like before the cheese, um, but I like it when it's on top. It feels like I get like way more of the flavor. This one is gonna go into the oven for approximately well, five to 10 minutes, you're really just gonna have to take a look and see what's going on. And then at the end, I'm gonna put some feta cheese on top. Oh my God, listen to that sound. I've been thinking, it was a hard decision, but I decided not to put feta cheese on my pizza. It was a tough one, but I think it's gonna be better without. Anyways, I do hope you're gonna enjoy this recipe because it's like the best thing ever. So if you feel like, huh, I'm not gonna do carbs today or like at all, uh, try it, it's very good. And also you get to have cheese as a crust for a pizza. I'm just saying. Smile. In all honesty, I feel so sore in my jaw right now because I've been doing this, I don't know, 30 minutes and it hurts so bad. So I kind of have like a headache from that. So I guess I'm gonna have to like massage myself because self-love is good for you. Okay, so now they're gone. As, take a look at this one, look. They are so nice and so straight. So I've been doing this for a very long time. And when I started doing it, they gave me 20 of these uh, like plastic things that I was supposed to put in my mouth and have for 22 hours every single day. It's been ridiculous. So every time after eating and drinking, I had to like take it out for eating and I had to brush my teeth and do like flossing and everything. First I had 20 of them. So it's 10 days per uh, like plastic thing. So first did it 200 days and then I was not happy. So I was like, we have to continue. And I thought that it was gonna be like two or three more, but I ended up having 14 more. Ridiculous. So 20 plus 14, then I had another run of like 15 more, 10 more, I can't remember. And uh, it's been such a long story. But now I am finally done. As you guys can see in the videos, I am not afraid of dentist at all. And probably because I had to go there every 40 days uh, to make sure everything was like correct. Then I didn't get like, you know, the, the, the stone things you can get in between your teeth. I don't know the word for this. It's called tooth stone in Swedish. Well, Tom Stan. Swedish word of the day, Tom the Stan. So that was my teeth journey. What is going on with my hair? Long hair up here. And then we have very short hair down here. Well, that was it for today. Now I'm gonna clean my house, I'm taking care of my laundry, and I do have to do my taxes. Oh, yeah. Currently, I don't have a good place to do my reviews and vlogs because I have two big windows. <laughs> it's still Christmas where I live. So I do have two big windows, but there is like no good position uh, to put a camera. But I'm working on it and I'm gonna fix it. I do have some big news. We are currently working on the fourth edition of Raven Playing Cards. That is gonna be so amazing. I have just been seeing some sketches and I am loving it so far. It's really, really nice. The new box is like a poster. It's like, 
Oh, it's so good. It's so good. That was it for today. I will see you guys back very soon. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.